Hey Packers fans, welcome to the channel. My name is Rev Trev. Today I want to talk about OTAs. OTAs are over exaggerated. There's way too much stuff talked about and, and really is not a lot to talk about uh, other than who's there, who's not, who's practicing, who's not. That That's kind of important information. But the idea that this player has struggled in OTAs, therefore that's going to equal that this team's going to struggle during the year. Listen, isn't that the point of OTAs? Practice? I just Every time I say the word practice, I think of Allen Iverson interview. Practice? Practice? We're we talking about practice right now, and and it's like uh, Jordan Love had a bad day at OTAs. Um, uh, next day, oh, Jordan Love had a good day at OTAs. Isn't that the point of OTAs? Is to be working out, working the kinks out, getting the ready for the season. We're we're in May here. Whether it's May or June, July, the whole point is preparation. Working out the kinks, getting everything fixed, getting th this offense and defense uh, fine-tuned for the season, which starts in September, okay? Just a reminder, it starts in September here, everyone. So this whole thing about OTAs and everyone's like, oh my goodness, Packers are going to suck because Jordan Love has struggled in OTAs. Well, here's the difference. At least Jordan Love was at OTAs. Aaron Rodgers had rookie wide receivers last year and wasn't at OTAs. I know they're voluntary and all that kind of stuff, but isn't it a good idea to be there? I mean, come on now. Like that's why we struggle the first few games. We we need all those extra reps and stuff. So I don't know. I just think that people make such a big deal about OTAs and when we don't need to and we want the ups and downs of practice. We want the 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 coaches seeing what our players can and cannot do, see what our rookies, sophomores look like, veterans, talk about uh, figure out the injury situation so that we can be prepared for the season. Anyways, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I mean, maybe I don't know about you, but like like when teams do that whole slow motion thing when their rookies come into into the facility and and like the Jaden Reed one was absolutely hilarious. He goes into slow motion, does this awesome route running, which was look cool until you realized he's running a route versus our coach. Like, are you kidding me right now? This is what I want to watch as a fan. Like, this is what's supposed to get me pumped up. Or like I saw the Carolina Panthers first snap of Bryce Young. He literally snaps the ball and goes to do a play action fake. And does a rollout and maybe throws it to wide receiver. I didn't know if it was completed or not. Like, I don't care. I don't care. I know there's a lot of fans like they're just trying to get so, like something's happening. Cool, that's great. <laughs> Anyways, my pet peeve. I know it's one of the. I commented on a few of the things, and the guy. One guy says. Well, you must be fun at, at uh, parties, <laughs> saying like, "Man, you're such a stick in the mud when it comes to this." And I'm like, "Actually, I am really fun at parties. I just get annoyed with those kind of things. I don't know. Do you not get annoyed with those things? Yeah. Are you impressed that Jaden Reed had an incredible route against one of our coaches? <laughs> like, <laughs> is it just me? I don't know. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, always, come on, go Pack Go.